Hey, grade 11s, I'm going to be going through a question on the analysis and interpretation of financial statements of partnerships. I'm going to ignore 5.1. I'll show you the answer, some matching columns. You're welcome to go through that on your own. 5.2, the information was drawn from the accounting records of anchor traders, and we have to answer these three questions. Firstly, comment on whether the business was more profitable. Remember, profitability ratios are the first type of our ratios and support with a suitable financial indicator and show your calculations. Okay, so from information A, we were given profitability ratios. Those are two profitability ratios, right? The operating profit on turnover is missing the 2015 uh, figure. So we'd first have to work that out. Operating profit is 300,000 divided by turnover of 1470 tells you that our operating profit on turnover would have been what? They are answers for 5.1, by the way. 300 divided by 1470 gives me 20.4%. Our comment, yes, the operating profit improved from 16 to 20.4%, and we're looking good. Okay, please do not write that it has improved by 4.4, rather state it has gone from this to that. Okay, part two of the question said whether we should be pleased with return. Return is another category of our ratios. And it's all about return on owner's equity. There is our return on owner's equity, and it's also missing the 2015 figure. The net profit over average owner's equity is the formula. The net profit is actually the operating profit as well, because we have no interest expense or interest income. So the average owner's equity will be those two owner's equities added together, divide by two. So let's go look at the answer. There is my net profit, 300 divided by average owner's equity. Look carefully at the calculation in big brackets there. And our answer is 25,56. From last year's 20%, we can therefore be happy saying that the return has improved from 20% to 25,56%. Another piece of answer could also say that it exceeds the return on an investment of approximately 8% from a fixed deposit or whatnot. 8% if you're lucky. Okay, so there are almost 10 marks for a simple, simple uh, comment. 5.2.3 then asked, do you think whether the business will run into liquidity answers? Give two financial indicators to boast your answer. So from information B, stock turnover rate and acid test ratio are the two ratios we'll use. Firstly, the acid test ratio is missing something. So what is the formula? Current assets minus inventories so 162,500 minus 70,000 on the left of my formula as to 117,500. Let's go see. There it is. 162,500 minus 70 leaves me with a left side of 92,500. My right side, the current liabilities was 117,500. So my answer 0.78 as to 1. My comment, yes. I'm happy. The acid test ratio has decreased, which could be a little bit concerning, I guess, from 1,1 to 0,78 com uh, as to 1. However, the stock turnover rate, uh, oh, let's just recap on the question. Will we run into liquidity problems? Yes, we will. It's not good liquidity position. The stock turnover rate has decreased from 8 to 6, meaning we are selling far less stuff and stock than we did last year. It's not moving as quickly. Hope this question and this activity assist you. It is on the easier side, but hopefully the steps help you to realize that it's doable if you know what you're doing. Keep practicing. We'll see you in the next video.